A really cool interview right now. Uh, talk about a star on the rise. You've already seen him in some big time TV shows and movies, but 2016 promises to be his breakout year. Actor and producer Demetrius Gross is here with us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You, you have an incredible year, years and year coming up. I do. Uh, you know, I'm thankful. It's, I not, know. it's not the easiest, easiest thing to do. I know uh, it's not. Be, um, be let's an actor in this town, as they no, say. In any town, <laughs> you, right. you've done well. Let's talk about the movie, though, because it uh, centered around Benghazi, of course, the attack of, uh, of 2012 that we have heard and talked so much about. But talk specifically about the, um, the role that you play. Um, I got a chance to play one of the diplomatic security agents that was actually at ground zero at the, uh, the diplomatic comp compost mm -hmm. that was uh, that was in Benghazi and uh, you know we shot the movie as close to Libya as you could possibly shoot sure. without actually being there. What was that like? Um, it's fantastic. Uh, Michael Bay is kind of a, a rock star of of movie making. He you is. Know, he, he has a reputation. Um, and, what was that uh, like working with him? Well you have a guy who who's because of the amount of of things, balls that he has in the air, he's, he goes at 110 miles per hour, so you have to be able to keep up with that. And uh, we also had the opportunity to have some of the real soldiers who were there that, that night during those 13 hours. Um, and they were giving us, you know, quid bits and little information that really helped to, to imbue a really authentic performance. We talked a little bit about it during the commercial break, uh, and, and you said it really does uh, shed some light, some things that people don't really know about. You getting a chance to actually talk to the soldiers and then, of course, playing the role. Sure. It's, uh, it's interesting because the film comes, of course, you know, on the, on the cusp of the, the elections of and, and this and that. But I, I think what's, what's going to be unique about it, what people are going to find interesting about that film, is that it's about the harrowing uh, the valor of the people that were there that night. It, it's not really a, a political uh, comment so much as it is, uh, you know, a, a real tale of, of of just courage from the, the women and the men who were who were there and had to just kind of, you know, pool their resources and, and get themselves out of the danger of that situation. But of course, so much part of the conversation right now. Um, you know, there were there's always so many questions and uh, such a controversial topic. Were there things that people are going to walk away with the audience is going to learn as a result of this? The answers that that we all have. I think specifically, uh, we're talking about 13 hours. I sure. think people will walk away knowing that uh, uh, with even a deeper respect for the men and women of our armed forces, uh, just the level of catharsis that they find themselves in and how we are really just how thankful we really just should be to them uh you know veterans day comes around sure, and these memorial day comes around and you know we have the parades and whatnot but you know it's every day it's every day it's and every you day go, you're, you say thank you you, you say thank you you're in an airport you got to tell these these men and women thank you because yep. uh at, at any blink of an eye, I mean, we're here in the metropolis, we're here in New York, at any blink of an eye, God forbid, we're in a situation where we depend on them with, and, our, and, with our lives. And we certainly do. Demetrius, yeah. thank you so much for coming Cheers. by. I wish we had more time to talk because you All have right. so many successes. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Terrence. All right, we're going to be right back.